video, we are going to learn about how to read fixed length file from server. We will create one integration. That integration will get a data file from SFTP server. It will read the data file and whatever data will be available in the data file, the same file, it will same data, it will return as a response payload of that integration. So what kind of data file we are going to read? We are going to read fixed length data file. So friend, it's very easy to read CSV file or the, the pipe separated file. It's really easy. But whenever we are talking about fixed length file, we don't have any separated of the file, separation of the file, just like comma separated file. We have comma for the separate file specification. For reading the data of the fixed length file, we require a schema that XSD a schema. So in the integration, I will show you the XSD a schema. So before going to that, first discuss about fixed length file. So fixed length file is something that file doesn't have any separated values. The file is separated for each and every column for a fixed length of column character defined. So suppose you can see this is our data file example and in the data file you can see the all the name having the same length. So suppose we decided that first 20 character will be the column 1, next 10 character will be the column 2, next 15 character will be column 3, something like that. So that kind of things we are going to say fixed length file. We will create one integration. I will show you everything. So before that, let me show you the fixed length file. So here you can see I have fixed length file created in the system and this file is available over SFTP server. In previous video, I have created videos where I show you that how to create fixed length file. This is the same file we created from integration. So I will create integration to read the same file. So here you can see once if I will open this CSV file, whatever file we placed over server, you can see the CSV file having the fixed length data. So let me show you that. So now here you can see this is our data file which we have placed over server. So once I will open this data file, you can see the data file having the data in the fixed length format. So you can see the first column is the name and that column having the fixed length of character. You can see that total number of character is you can see column 21st we have it means the first column having 20 character. Next column you can see we have the fixed column, fixed character. Then after that, we have fixed character. Again, we have mobile number for fixed character and all. So I have already created fixed length file schema for that. So you can see the first column as name having the total number of character 20. The second column having the column of character 20, 11. Next column having 25 character. Next column having 10 and all. So we already created a schema for that XST schema for reading the file. So this is the same schema we use for creating the file. So whenever we have to create fixed length file or read fixed length file, we require XSD schema. And this is the XSD schema. I will provide the link of this XSD schema in video description. You can find from there just what you need to do. Just you need to change the column name and the column length, nothing else. I will provide the same. Here you can see this is our dummy data, the fixed length data. The same data we have placed over server, we have to read that. So let me first create the integration. So I will create one integration where I will pass request payload as these two name, file name and the directory and the response we will get the data, whatever data we have in the file. So let's begin to the integration part. So here first I will create app driven integration so that I can configure request and response payload. So let me add read its length file 0 1 create and as we are going to configure request and response payload we need to add rest endpoints so that we can configure request and response payload using that rest endpoint only now we have to just click on create so that the integration will be created and we have to add the rest endpoint so let me add the rest endpoint so here as i added the rest endpoint we have to give the values for the configuration so i will give name as a start rest next and here we have to provide the uri so i will give that read file select method as post so that we can configure request and response payload now next we have to provide simple request payload so i have already created simple request payload and select json i will provide the payload okay next we have to provide the response payload so same i have already created the response payload so that we can get the response of this integration in this format only. So whatever data we will have in the file, it will return based on that, right? So now next we are done with the FTP endpoint. 
so rest endpoint so now it's time to get the data from file server so we have two options to get the data file from fi data from file server the first we can directly use read file operation as we know that we have very less data that we have data less than 100 mb we can directly use read operation the read a file operation of ftp endpoint is if we we have the last data more than 100 mb then we need to download first then with the help of a state operation we can read so here as i know that we have less than 100 mb of data that you can see 410 kb so i will directly use ftp endpoint to read the data so here i will drag here I will give the name as read ftp next here we have to select read a file operation and we need to provide the directory and the file name from where we have to read the file so the both it's not mandatory to provide here as both thing we are getting from request payload so I will skip here and I will pass the same in the mapping only and here this is the main thing as we are going to read a file it means we have to provide the structure so what kind of a structure we are going to provide we are going to provide X XSD schema right this is the structure of the fixed length file so I will select XSD here XML schema XSD next we have to upload the file so I will upload the file here and now next and done so we are done with the FTP endpoint to read the file from server we have to provide the mapping here so I will just click here in the mapper so that we can provide the mapping for file and the file path so expand you can see file name and directory both we are getting as a request payload so you can see file name i will map here file directory will map here these two we will get a request payload while running the integration now we will save you can see it's validated now we have to map the response of this integration by starter as you can this is the endpoint which we configure the request in the response payload and this is the mapper for that so that we can return back the response so i will map here Friend, if you have any other queries, you can make a comment. Don't forget to comment here. If you have any other queries and if you like the videos, obviously don't forget to comment and uh, motivate us by doing the comments. So here in the read file response, we will get the endpoint. You can see employee and here we will map this one. You can see this employee is nothing that this employee is we are getting from here as this is the element and this is the array element that's why we have the node here and you can see this is the sequence inside the sequence we have the all the column so here in, inside this one we have all the column sequence so i will map one by one address with address contact with contact name with name and dob with dob validate and close now we are done with the mapping now what we have to we have to save and run the integration but here we have one error related to the tracking variable so i will just add one tracking variable as a business identifier and done save close activate run so here we have to just activate the integration So just uh, integration is activated now we have to run the integration by test i will provide the value file directory so this is our file directory the file server and we are going to read the file the first file so i will just make a copy of name and we'll provide here yes and once we will test it will read the data file from server and it will return back the data in response you can see in the response we are getting the data so the first file having three records only that's why it's showing returning back three records let me show you the same you can see this is the first file once i will open this first file you can see we have only three record now if you will see the second file in the second file we have five records so let me pass the name of the second file here i will copy the name and if you pass the second file name in the integration request payload it will return back the five records so you can see this is five records so friend this is the simple integration where we learn how to read the fixed length file from server friend if you have any other queries and you want to ask anything any specific requirement please do comment and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching